name is Michaela Weir, and I got my little brother to help me today. Hi, I'm Daxton. And today we're going to show you how to make bioplastic. Bioplastic helps solve the problem of pollution. Typical plastics can take up to several years to fully decompose, and when they do, they occasionally release harmful toxins into the environment, uh, let alone the harmful effects it has on animals that mistake it for food. So with bioplastics, they use um, organic substances that help it decompose faster and have no harmful uh, effects on the environment. So to make the bioplastic, you're going to need 6 teaspoons of water, 9 teaspoons of cornstarch, and 5 drops of oil. And then optional to keep the bioplastic from molding while it's in use, go ahead and add 1 teaspoon of vinegar. So basically what's happening, when you combine the cornstarch and water, it typically makes a non-Newtonian fluid, you may have heard of it, called oobleck. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid because um, when acted upon by a force, its viscosity or consistency changes. So basically, when you hit it, it becomes a solid, and when you just leave it there, it's a uh, liquid. Um, so anyways, we add the oil to keep it from uh, becoming a non-Newtonian fluid and keeping it a Newtonian fluid. Um, and then the vinegar is added to, again, inhibit the mold growth, and the water, we're going to microwave it after we get done here. So once microwaved, the water evaporates behind it and just leaves polymers behind to create the bioplastic solid. And when uh, stirring, make sure you get all the parts well combined. And make sure when you microwave it that you cover it, but leave some ventilation. All right, and then we decided to mold ours. Typically, I would use an ice cube tray, but that is at my school's lab. So you just pour it in there, you can leave it in a bag or a bowl, just make sure when you put it in the microwave it's covered with some ventilation, and we're going to microwave it for a minute to a minute and a half. Alright, so we just took our bioplastic out of the microwave, um, and it should become solid, and now it should not be so transparent. Um, wait about 15 minutes, because it keeps heat trapped really well, it's well insulated. Um, in about 15 minutes you'll be able to pull it out of the mold without burning yourself too bad. Okay, so we just took our bioplastic out of uh, the mold we used, and this is what it looks like. The cornstarch, as you can see, some of it has sunk to the bottom, and that's the white stuff you can see down there. But overall, it has thickened, become a squishy bioplastic. And over the next couple of days, heat will continue to dissipate, and it'll become uh, more resilient and able to hold pressure, so it won't be quite so squishy. All right, so that's how you make bioplastic. Um, in the end, I think this could be a suitable replacement for current packaging options, like in your Amazon boxes or whatever, um, because it is more biodegradable than the current options. And so I think with a little more research, we're on our way to replacing it um, with more biodegradable plastic. And so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed Chi Tech. See ya! Bye! <laughs>